Hello, class. Hello, good evening. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm fine, thank you. How was your weekend? Mm. My weekend, it was terrible. <laughs> because Why? I had a, a lot of pain in my shoulder. Oh, in your shoulder. Did, you, did now, you have the surgery? No, for the moment, no. <laughs> um, okay. And the next May, I went to the appointment with, I will be appointment with the doctor. Uh, I will have I asked, an appointment. Uh, pardon, sorry, I will have uh, an appointment with the doctor and I will decide in that maybe take the decision of the surgery. <laughs> maybe, oh, okay. maybe. So you haven't decided yet? Maybe. Now I don't have uh, a good decision because for that COVID-19, <laughs> yes. maybe. Uh, at the moment, I a little better from the pain. OK, that's good. That's good to hear. My camera is not. Hold on, please. <clears throat> okay, there. Wow. Uh, okay, hold on. Fixing my camera. There you go. Okay, got it. Okay, what about you, Moises? How was your weekend? Hello, teacher. Hello, classmates. Well, my weekend was uh, uh, beautiful, I think, because I went to uh, Apollo Lake. Nice. <laughs> on Saturday, I went with my girlfriend to uh, to lunch, almorzar. To have lunch, okay. Lunch, yes. And, and well, the reason for that travel was the thing that uh, she, she, she had a, una consulta, como se dice? Uh, an, an appointment. An appointment with one uh, chiropractic in, in, that, uh, in that area. Oh, okay. Yes. My, my Sunday was, well, uh, in general, my Sunday is for prepare the weekend, the, 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 all the week, uh, that's the, the word, all the week. And I, I have to work uh, two or three hours every Sunday because I am uh, preparing my, my, all my lessons. Okay, okay. And hi, Sara. My teacher, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I spoke with you today, correct? Uh, repeat, please. I don't, I don't understand. You called me today, correct? Uh, yes, today I called you because okay. I need help me in the platform. Yes. Last, did you have problems in the platform? No, teacher, in my case, no. Oh, teacher. Oh. Okay. Because Sarah was having some problems with her. Okay, no problem. We'll See, do it. In the, yes. In the in the unit one, two, three, four, if I not. Let me see. Hold on, I'm checking right now.
I say I send you some photos in yes, your but, cell phone. Yes, but the problem is that during the day I'm working and um, it's very hard for me to see the photos without the question and and I need to know the question because sometimes people tell me, hey teacher, I have this wrong and I don't know the question or I don't know what lesson, you know, but um, let me check right now. Do you see my screen? Do you see my screen? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Sara, do you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Where did you have problems and what lesson? Let me see in my platform. In... Let's see. Uh, 1.10. These are the correct, look. Number five is wrong for me. I wouldn't be as broke as. Here, this is what I'm going to do now. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yes, hold on. Let me see. There, I sent you the in, in the chat. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, no problem. Let me see other. Let me see. Uh, ah, este <clears throat> two point nine number number five. I'm sorry, two point nine. Mm hmm. We're not there yet. We we finished section one last week. La unidad dos punto nueve. Okay, pero mm. solo hemos terminado la sección uno. Nos, uh, hoy vamos okay. a empezar la dos. Okay, thank you, teacher. Oh, okay. It's usually one section per week. Okay. So let's open, let's do section two today. It doesn't open. And you know, sometimes if you're having problems with the platform, oh, I'm sorry, esta muchacha ya le ha dado clase a ustedes. Yes. What is her name? I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, it it was my teacher two models before. Do you remember her name? Jessica? No. Jessica? I can't remember, sorry. Oh, okay. Sometimes students, they ask me for some strange questions, like, <laughs> hold on. Um, ¿Quién me escribió me puede dar el ID y clave de la reunión, por favor? Hi, teacher. Okay, hágame un gran favor cuando me escriban, put your name <laughs> because I have. Okay, teacher. Sorry. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. Sometimes I have students from three months ago. <laughs> Pero ya la tiene, right? Supongo. Yes. Okay. 
No problem. Hold on, let me check one thing here. Un estudiante me, me preguntó por ella y <ríe> cómo se llama. Se le había olvidado que ella le dio clases antes y le quería hacer una pregunta, pero ah, mentira, yo creo que solo quería contactarla. <ríe> Uh, so I, I, I really don't know her name, but it's Jessica, you say. Hello, class. Hi. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, let's listen to the video. Let's see what it says about today's lesson. Ready for our next intro video? Watch it and take notes. Hi, this is Jacob with Campus TV. Today we're at Choice Cafe on University Drive. I'm talking to the owner, Lily Chen. Choice Cafe opened two years ago. Since then, students have been lining up for coffee and food. Why is Choice Cafe so successful? Let's find out. Thank you for agreeing to speak with me today. Choice Cafe is popular on campus. Yes, the cafe is doing very well. What's the secret to your success? I've been very lucky. And I have great customers. But it is hard. I think there are several reasons we do so well. We're popular because of our location, of course. For a cafe to succeed, it can't be off the beaten path. It needs to be where people can find it. You don't have to walk far. It's convenient, <laughs> right next to campus. But that can't be the only reason. After all, Central Cafe closed last year and it was just one block away from campus. Did Choice put Central Cafe out of business? Yes and no. We were definitely in competition with each other, but Central Cafe didn't have comfortable seats. In order for a cafe to attract customers, it should have comfortable chairs. Our cafe is famous for its cozy atmosphere. Look at those chairs. The people can come here to relax, drink their tea or coffee, and study or read. Do you encourage people to stay a long time? I absolutely do encourage people to stay. I think that's the reason why they keep coming back. They can read, do homework, meet their friends, and during this time, they drink two or three cups of coffee and have a pastry. What about the food? Our food is made here, fresh every morning. We have a strong takeout business. People order food to take home or to eat outside. Outside? You mean on the grass, on campus? Anywhere. We do have tables outside too, but people do eat on campus. It's really pretty there. But it's nice to sit inside too. The atmosphere is great here. Talk about that for a minute. The lights, the music? Music is key to a cafe success. You need to make sure you have good music. I'm not an expert. I mean, I don't know much about music. But people who work here are students. They're tuned in. They know what's popular. So I let them choose the music. And people like it. Yes. And since I want to encourage people to meet their friends here, chat, read, so on, I make sure the music's not too loud. I mean, we can hear each other just fine, right? Right. Well, Lily, thank you. I've really enjoyed learning more about what makes Choice a successful cafe. You're welcome, Jacob. Come anytime. For Campus TV, this is Jacob signing off. Okay, I have a question. What do you think makes Pollo Campero so successful? I think that is the, the good um, cooking that chicken. Okay, the, the chicken. traditional chicken. The chicken is good, okay. The, the secret recipe. 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 Okay. 
Yes, the secret recipe is good. What up? Jose, Neftali, Evaristo, and Gabriela, if you have cameras, please, it would be great. If not, I'm sorry, but I have to tell you so. Or put a picture, please. If you can. Okay, so what else do you think makes um, Pollo Campero a great place? I think it was because they began when there was not a, every more. I'm site sorry, to... can, can you repeat, please? Okay. Okay, can you listen? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking that the uh, Pollo Campero is, uh, is famous because they uh, began to prepare chicken when uh, there, there were not a lot of places to do it. And now okay. there are a lot of places. Yeah. Okay, what else? I think that the place is, is familiar. You can say in the kids area or in, in the same place. And the marketing is a good, a good choice too. Everybody knows the slogan, Tierno, Jugoso y Crujiente. Yes. Okay, yeah, that's a good point. Yes, it's true. Um, I think what makes Pollo Campero successful is the chicken is good. They are everywhere in every corner. And the price is very accessible. Have you ever eaten in Pollo Real, for example? Actually not, only Pollo Campero. Yeah, okay, Pollo Real is good, but it's very expensive. expensive. Just like one chicken is like $14. Well, yes, it's expensive. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, the well, chicken is, is good, but it's expensive. Pollo Bonanza, too, is very expensive. Teacher, yes. the, the chicken real is very watery. I don't like Oily. it. It's very for me, Pollo Campero. Yes, it's true. Yeah, I like Pollo Campero. It's the best, I think. <laughs> All right. So did you hear the video? So they were talking about why, why people go frequently to that cafe bar. Yes. What did she say? Do you remember? Well, I, I remember that they are talking about uh, people go and... and and they made uh, different things. Uh, some some uh, some people uh, work. Some people go with friends, etc. Yes, the studies to study. I see similar places like that in in La Uca, by La Uca. and a lot of people used to go there and study. Okay, let's see the next page. Let's see what we do in the next page. It says, by the end of this lesson, participants will understand to use infinitive clauses to describe the purpose. Infinitive clauses. Let's listen to the infinitive clause, please. Hi. For you to be fluent in English, you need to keep up with all the lessons. So stay and learn how to describe purpose using infinitive clauses. Describing purpose. Infinitive clauses. To run a popular internet cafe, it's a good idea to have late opening hours. To establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. In order to establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. Infinitive clauses with four. For an athletic center to be profitable, it needs to have modern exercise equipment. 
For a shopping mall to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. In order for a shopping mall to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. To describe purpose, we may do so by using different types of infinitive clauses. We may use infinitive clause to plus verb. For example, to succeed in business, you have to. Notice we began our sentence using to, followed by the verb succeed. Or we may use in order plus infinitive. Example, in order to succeed in business, you have to. We may add in order, but it's optional. If we omit it, the structure stays the same. The other way to describe purpose is by using infinitive clause with for. For plus noun plus infinitive. For a business to succeed, it has to. Or in order plus for plus noun plus infinitive. In order for a business to succeed, it has to. Again, we may use in order, but it is optional. The structure stays the same if we omit it. Okay, let's do one thing. Where are you? I can't see you. Okay, um, Gabriela, are you there? Yes, I'm here. How are you, Gabriela? I'm doing okay. What about you? I'm okay, thank you. Let's do infinitives. What is an infinitive? Do you remember? It's two and the verb, correct? Yes. Okay, um, Gabriela, can you give me an example? What, you, what do you need to go to Spain? I need to work. No, I mean, okay, oh yeah, okay, good. But more, more technically, legally. Mm. Mm. That was a good answer though. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. I need to have a passport. Okay, good. A letter from a citizen from Spain. Oh, really? Yes. Now it's necessary. Okay. I need to have a, a test uh, about COVID-19. Okay, excellent. Good. Negative test. So to go to Spain, you need a passport. You need to have a, a letter from a citizen and yeah. a COVID exam. Very good. Yes. Gabriela, can you ask somebody, please? But listen to my example. I said, Gabriela, to go to Spain, what do you need? So can you ask somebody with, a, with, a, with an infinitive, please? <clears throat> OK. To make a Cuba Libre, what do you need? Can I ask? Sure. Um, oh, you or someone else? No, ask somebody from your class, please. Ah, okay. Jose, Jose Mariano. Yes, I hear. Okay, to be a soccer player, what do you need? Mm, you need passion to be a soccer player. You need to make a lot of exercise and also you need to study techniques. Yeah. Or to be in Real Madrid, you need money. <laughs> a lot of money. A lot of money because at Penal Madrid. <laughs> Influence. <laughs> A lot of things under the table. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you, Gabriela. Thank you, Jose Mariano. Okay, Jose Mariano, ask somebody, please. Okay, let me check. Participants, uh, Moises Carrillo. Hello, tell me, please. What do you need to be a scientist? To be a scientist, well, the first 
thing that you have to do is go to the university and study something about biology, chem uh, chemistry, or something like that. Uh, uh, after that, you have to get uh, your graduation. And after that, you have to uh, get a, a job about that thing that you study in the university. And in that moment, when you have a, a when you have a, a work about related to the thing that you study, you are going to be the thing that you are uh, uh, questioning. <laughs> That's right. Okay, and also I think I think to be a scientist you have to be agnostic. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no, I think I don't know. Yes, yes. In, in, in yeah, that's way, true. That's true because uh, one scientist uh, doesn't have the all the responses for all the things, and I think that is. Uh, I don't know what is the word for ignorant. Ignorance. Ignorance. If you only says uh, God doesn't exist, uh, you uh, we have to as as a human we have to know that the the most of the things are unknown at this time. Yes, but yeah, but remember, science believe that. Uh, I think. In science, everything exists if it's genetically proven. Comprobado genetically. So the, the thing is that science believes in evolution, but religion believes in creation. So it's very difficult for you. Imagine if you are a very, very devoted Christian and, and you're a scientist. It's very, very strange. <laughs> It's very difficult because you can't mix your you you can't mix your, your faith when you're yo. Exactly. Yes. I should be a scientist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should have been a scientist. Sure. Yes. I think that a science and phi go hand in hand. Science and what? I understand me. I, I see that, that, that science and fight go hand in hand. Okay, science and what? <laughs> hand. Fight. No, it's fight. not, not funny. Huh? No, science. Faith. 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 Oh, okay. Go hand in hand. Or maybe science and religion, no? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. What well, depends? I don't think so. It should. Deberia. What is your religion? Uh, I I am nothing. Nothing. Yeah, I, I I don't believe in God to be honest. But but I respect. Uh, no, but you know the problem? Yes, I understand, Sara, that religion and science should go hand in hand, but some religions are very, very extreme. And, um, they, you know, like some religions don't believe in, I don't know, like they prefer to die than to save. So that's... Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, no, 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 I prefer to die, but please don't give me a, another heart or another transfusion or something. And that's very sad because my brother, he's a doctor and he tells me that he has a lot of problems with some religions. You know, some parents prefer their child to die. And that's very, it's a very difficult decision. So I think, I think religion is good, but it's, it's good because it's faith, and faith is good, but all, all not extreme. <laughs> Look at the Muslim people. I believe in God only. 
I believe in God only, on religion, nothing. Okay, that's good, yes. That's, that's the point, yes, but some people believe more in religion than in God, and they let their religion control, you know, and that's, look at Muslim people, man, people are crazy. Imagine, andamatate por Allah, gosh. We need a Muslim, like you, or Mandalo in Assemblea. Un Muslim, un Taliban son los Talibanes. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, so um, that, that, that was good. So what do you need to be a scientist? I think you need to be open mind. Uh, Gabriela said you need to you need to think like a professional and think like uh, like um, religion. Okay, con quien quedamos? Uh, Moises, ask somebody, please. Okay, teacher. Uh, uh, Ana. Okay. Ana, what? Uh, what I have to do. Oh, to... wait, I'm sorry. Le, le voy a decir una cosa. A veces en español nosotros decimos, ¿qué se necesita para viajar a España? Si se dan cuenta, nunca pregunté qué usted necesita, qué necesita él, sino que solo dije, ¿qué se necesita? Significa que cualquier persona, ¿verdad? Que no son los requerimientos para una persona que haga eso. Pero en inglés no existe qué se necesita porque siempre hay que poner un pronombre. Entonces, en ese sentido se puede decir you. Ok. Uh -huh. okay. Y okay. es como lo dicen, por ejemplo, lo que yo le dije a Gabriela. Gabriela, what do you need to go to Spain? O sea, not exactly what does Gabriela need. I'm saying like in general. What do you need to go to Spain? Yes. Oh. Ok. Okay, so please go, Moises. Okay, Anna, okay. what do you need to do to, to, to bake a good cake? A bake a good cake, okay. okay. Can you repeat, please? I'm sorry. What do you need to do, Anna, to bake a good cake? Good. Okay. First, I need to be to buy the ingredients. Uh, then I prepare into the ingredients in a bowl. Uh, no, but, to... but, but listen, listen. Uh, he asked you, he didn't ask you, how do you make a cake? He said, what do you need to make a good cake? To make to a bake, bit... To bake, I'm sorry. To, ba <laughs> to bake, okay. Um... So you need the ingredients? Need? Yes, I need the ingredients. Uh, I need to the ovens. Very uh, good. Put the, 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 oh, the time and the ovens. Uh, okay. I mix the ingredients and... No, okay, I say stop, <laughs> okay? Okay. Because, <laughs> no, no, because listen to the question. He says, what do you need to make a, a, a baker cake? Good. I need the ingredients. I need a good oven. And I need uh, I need, I need to the recipe. <laughs> yes, I need I need the recipe. Yes. <laughs> and I need yes. I need a good space in the kitchen. Yes. Pero si usted piensa, I need two eggs and then sugar and then you put water, then that's not the question. La, si la pregunta era it's si, a short question. No. Only a step one. No, because él no le preguntó cómo se hace un cake. Okay, yes. Yeah, you know. But is, is the, the, my answer is according to the you said to us in the, the, the last class when you uh, told to us the uh, large question and answer. Maybe yeah. it's for this reason I take the decision uh give you give to us the all okay uh, i'm sorry but what what <laughs> what what large answer what question no it's according to the question moises asked me okay okay 
But imagine if I ask you, what do you need to make? Oh, okay, you get tomato, you get beans, you get cheese, and you do this and that and that. Le respondió como se hace, pero no le respondió que se necesita para hacerlo. Okay. The recipe, the ingredients in the uh, big oven. Yes. <laughs> like imagine, imagine, like uh, imagine Gabriela is studying to be a, a dentist. Yes. Entonces yes. I ask her, hey, Gabriela, what do you need to open? Um, what do you need to open a clinic? So she's going to tell me, oh, okay, I need a clinic with good connections. I need uh, very money. Yeah, okay. I need a lot money. of money. Yeah, that's true, that's true. <laughs> I need a lot of money. Uh, I need uh, a great location. Uh -huh. I, need, I need a good location. Yes, but Gabriela is not going to explain to me how to take a tooth and no sé qué. So she says, oh yeah. man, to, to put a clinic, you need a lot of money. Um, you need the chair. You need maybe a bathroom. You need a monitor, yeah? But yes. Things like that. Okay, but that's good. So Ana Molina, ask somebody please. Except, okay. except Gabriela, except Moises, and except Jose Ramirez. Okay. Or Jose Maria. No, except Jose Maria. <laughs> Evaristo. All right. Okay. Uh, what do you need to go to Italy? Italy? To Italy, good. Um... Maybe uh, I think uh, I don't need a I don't need a American pass American password. I just I just need a I just need um, uh, my password my passport like El Salvador passport. And I think uh, I need a permission to to go. Um, okay. And well, I don't know, maybe. And permission from who? From the embassy? For, for, yes. Yeah. For, Good, yes. And, and, and it's true because I think, I think that Italy changed the laws with El Salvador mm -hmm. like five or 10 years ago because la MS ya empezó a entrar a Puerto a Italia. Really, yes. Yeah. So, um, se pusieron un poco más estricto con salvadoreños a la hora de entrar. So yes, I, 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 think, I think the laws changed. Yes. Okay, but that's good. Okay, Baristo, ask somebody, please. Um, Jose Ramirez. Um, what do you need in... What are you know? What do you need? What do you need or what do you need? What do you need? What do you need? Okay, good. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Batisto. Okay, good. La primera vez, lo oí que usted dijo, what are you need? No, what are you need? What? No. But it's what, what? Do you, okay. Let me explain one thing. Yes, I understand. What do you need? What do you need? You're using contraction, right? Yeah. The do. Pero, do. Uh -huh. But remember, I told you, I recommend you, mejor, stay it formal, primero. What do you need? Okay. What do you need? Porque verdad, yo lo vi que dijo, what are you need? Pero ya, yeah, quiso decir, what do you need? Pero dígalo más rápido. What do you need? What do you need? What do you need? Okay, okay. thank you. Yeah, you thank you. The, the same is the, the, the meaning, the same teacher. Yes, the, the, the only difference is that one is formal and one is informal. Like for example, I am going to, some people say, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. And it's acceptable, it's correct. But I tell people that are, are studying English, are, are learning English, hey, speak formal, mejor. Nunca van a salir mal con formal. Okay. No sé si yo les pregunté a ustedes aquella vez. Por ejemplo, Evaristo, ¿qué es la diferencia de voz? <laughs> Evaristo, imagine you are my Spanish teacher. 
Yo digo, ah, uh, profesor. No, perdí mi avaristo, creo. Ok, clase. Imagínense, le digo, ¿qué es la diferencia de vos y tú? Sorry. It's okay. Uh, it, it's the same. It's the same. That's the one is formal and two is formal and both is informal. Okay, really? Two, when you oh, say... Pero vos somebody, no existe en México. México, don't say vos. Yeah, just in El Salvador. <laughs> no, Argentina? Yes. In, El, in Argentina, Guatemala. In, in Guatemala. Pero imagínese cómo le pueden explicar eso a alguien que está estudiando español. <laughs> le van a decir, es que mira. No, yo he visto gente que hace eso y dice, vos, o sea, vos es para... Tú, o sea, tú es lo mismo, pero vos es más como alguien de confianza y tú no. Y, y realmente es, los dos son informal, solo que algunos países lo dicen diferente. Entonces yo prefiero mejor decirle a mi alumno en español que diga usted. Usted, porque en cualquier país que habla español en el mundo van a entender que es usted, o sea, es universal. Ya. Yo estoy chapeada a la antigua porque yo a todo el mundo le digo a usted, quizás. Ah, sí. No, y fíjese que, y entonces, ¿qué es lo que pasa? Cuando ustedes ya entienden más la cultura, cuando un gringo ya tiene años y ya capta, ah, oh, ok, yo ya entiendo cuál es vos. Vos es una onda de El Salvador. O sea, vos es lo que en México le dicen tú. Ah, ok. Pero eh, eso se llama como cultural. Y Evaristo en Estados Unidos es bien feo porque como Estados Unidos es tan grande, se ha dividido como en cuatro zonas, entonces cada quien habla informal. Entonces, cuando ustedes no entienden algo y todo, por eso yo les recomiendo, pues, don't worry, man. Háblenlo formal siempre. Y siempre les van a entender. Ok. So, Evaristo, please ask somebody. I'm sorry. Yes, um, I asked to um, Jose Ramirez. Okay. Uh, Jose Ramirez, what do you need to be a good driver in El Salvador? Oh, good. Okay. To be a good driver in El Salvador, you need to get the uh, licencia. My license. Uh, to get the license or to know the the rules of the traffic or rules. And yes, but do... there's a lot of people with license that they know the rules and they don't respect. Yeah, but you have to respect the rules and, and know that you have to drive in a safety way. Okay, good. What do you need to be a good driver in El Salvador? You need to drive safely. You need to respect. Yeah. Yes. For example, yes. I drive, I drive defending, not offending. Yeah, I drive I defensively, not offensively. It's the because, best way to drive. Yes. Mm -hmm. I always imagine lo peor, the worst. Siempre me imagino, I can't say I'm And it's true. Okay, very good. Thank you, Barista. Thank you, Jose. Jose, ask somebody, please. Okay. So, I have to see something that didn't participate. Uh, we have Anna, we have Sara, we have Anna, and I think and Naftali. Okay, yes, Sara. What do you need to, I don't know, ask? ask uh, to vote. To vote? Yes. Vote what? <laughs> vote the elections. What do you need to? To vote. Remember oh. last week or two weeks ago? Okay. I don't understand the Vote, word. vote. Yeah. Arena, FMLN, Nueva Ideas. Ah, no. You vote. Vote. Ah. But you know, I am 
right? You need you. There are like procedures. In my in my in my city, a boat, PDC. No, no. But the question is, what do you need to vote? Ah, what do feel? How my do we? Good. I just thought that's it. You need only a that. Yes. Uh -huh, good. That's what I'm saying. Listen, listen to the question. No, who did you vote? Quien ganó? No, what do you need to vote in El Salvador? Oh, you need a Dewey. What do you need to have a Dewey? You need to be 18. 18, correct? Yes. Okay, good. So I'm sorry, Jose Ramirez, can you ask Sara a different question, please? Okay. Let me see. Neftali. No, wait, Sarah, oh, please. Wait. I Jose is going to ask you. Jose is going to ask you a question. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. good. Thank you. What do you need to be educated in another country? Fear have a passport and have a lot of money in uh, to have citizen sorry sorry but I, I i i can ask you what do you need to be polite if you don't know the culture in another country but can you i go más como básico like something easy like okay that is what do you need to cash a check Para cambiar un cheque, or, okay, what or, do you need to I, I don't, cash a check in, uh, in the bank? Good. Uh, have Dewey? Yeah. You need to it, have a Dewey. You need to have a Dewey if, if other person need a sing, uh, how do you say firma? Signature. Signature in the in the check. Good. Yes. Yes. Acuérdense que estamos básico. No nos preguntemos qué se necesita para ser un cardenal en el Vaticano. Like, no, man. <laughs> you know, don't, don't complicate. No, just like, what do you need to make a Cuba Libre? You need rum and Coca-Cola. Alcoholic drinks. <laughs> Do you know the Cuba Libre? Uh, have oh. other president. Yes, teacher. Okay. It's uh, a cocktail. It's a cocktail. It's a drink, Sara. Ah, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't drink alcohol. Good. Pero, pero, okay, good. No, está bien, está bien. Porque mi pregunta. Pero si usted no oyó bien mi pregunta. Porque yo entiendo por qué usted dijo, you need to change the president. Pero yo mm -hmm. dije, ¿qué se necesita para hacer una Cuba libre? So make, entonces that's not a person, you know. So, uh, yes, what do you need to make a Cuba libre? You need rum and Coca-Cola. Mm. Los, el, la bebida más famosa de Cuba es ron, la más de Estados Unidos, Coca-Cola, you mix, Cuba Libre de España, creo que era la historia. Hay una historia porque se llama Cuba Libre. Yes. Ok, Sara, please ask Neftali. Um, Neftali, what do you need yes. to start English? Why, why do you need to start English? You see? We learn English. Um, okay, in my opinion, I need to study because I am interested to learn a new language to speak with other people. For example, I like to speak and that language because it's a global language because in all the countries acts a little bit to speak English because it's important in the jobs 
um, if you have to immigrate to another country, you have to have a 60 or 70% to speak English because in, in other countries have your own language, but it, it, you can speak in the English language because it's, uh, I repeat that a global language. That, Sarah, is that correct? Sorry? Is, yes. Is, is his answer correct? Yes. I don't remember the question. No, no, it's not correct. Why, Gabriela? More because sure the, the answer. No, the question, the yeah. question is, what do you need? Neftali, yes, thank you, Gabriela. Neftali, the question yes. is, what do you need to study English? Not, why do you like English? Why do you study English? No. What do you need to study English? In English oh, you yes, Mr. I am... Um, I need to study English to reinforce my vocabulary. No, 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 no. Naftali, please listen to the question. What <laughs> do you need to study English in Inglés Corporativo? What, no why, what? Oh, what? Class, what do you need to study English in English Corporativo? <clears throat> you need to complete the form and send it by email. Okay, very good. You need to oh, complete yes. a form. You need a computer. You need yes. to, yeah. Okay. I know. Leer, 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 y escribir. Platform. Yeah, exactly. But everybody, todos, you're not listening to the question. Listen to the question, okay? It's very, very important. Yes? So, Naftali, what do you need? It's like, what do you need? Remember, what do you need to go to Europe? You need, what do you need to go to the United States? You need a visa. No, is I, I, I like the United States because my family is there and I like baseball. And I, when I visit, I go to Disneyland. You know, that's not my question. No, my question is, what do you need to go to the United States? Teacher is going to know how to read and write. Okay. But you don't need to know how to read and write to go to the United States. No, no. Eh, para estudiar inglés con inglés corporativo. Oh. Uh, know how to read and write. Um, yes, yes, I imagine, yes. <laughs> it's important to know how to read and write. Yes. Okay, yes, you need to know how to read and write. Okay, Neftali, ask somebody, please. I'm going to ask... I think we have only Jose Ramirez, or no? Or Jose Mariano. ¿Cuál Jose no lo han preguntado? Jose Mariano. Okay. Okay, tell me. Uh, the same question. I don't know. I mean, hemos hecho like five questions. <laughs> so. And what do you need to to learn English. To learn English. Well, to learn English. Really, Neftali? In serio? Yeah. Don't repeat the questions. Hay tantas preguntas, you know. You know sorry, like, sorry. No, no, no. It's okay. But like, I don't know. Si no todos repetimos la misma pregunta. What do you need to study English? What do you need to study English? La idea aquí es to have a conversation, ask different questions. Different questions, different vocabulary. Yes? Jose Mariano. Hello? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. What do you need? What do you need for karaoke? 
Yeah, you, you need to have a lot of beers in your system and start to sink. <laughs> okay, good, yes. You need to have beers in your system. You need a microphone. And a good music, too. Yeah, good sound. Buen sonido, yes. Okay, good, yes. You need you need to have good music, yes. What do you need for a party? Oh, you need music. You need food. Correct? You need bit. drinks. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah, I mean, what do you need? ¿Qué, qué necesita entender para esto? ¿Qué necesita... Eh, saber. Yes. What do you need to know? Que necesitan saber. Uh, the letter. Hmm? La letra de la canción. The letter. But sometimes no. In karaoke, no, because uh, you read. Ah, sí, sí, sí. It's yeah, really. But, yeah, it's true. Yeah, the lyrics appear in the in the screen. Yeah. You need to remember the song. Like, oh yeah. Or the reading. A yeah. lot of energy. You need a lot of energy. Good. All right. Okay. So that, that, that those are like the questions you ask. Remember, remember, um, old school, old school. Like for example, Moises. Yes. Tell me. Uh, did you need to ask permission to your girlfriend's father? Uh, for, for anything? For... No, when she was your girlfriend. Oh. <laughs> uh, what, what I need to do that? Well, I, I have to go with good presentation uh, because, well, uh, because it doesn't matter in, in this moment. Uh, right. You have this... to... Hoy no, hoy, papá, mira, este es mi novio. But back, back then, it's yes. like la chica te decía, hey, you need to ask permission. Yes, you have to go to good presentation. You have to prepare the correct words to talk with your future father-in-law. It's you true. Have to, you have to uh, uh, carry some presents, I think, uh, like uh, some apples, some some fruits. I think you can go with that. Uh, and, uh, and you have to uh, be what is the word? To, uh, you have to be honest with all your intention with the girl. No, man, you have to lie. <laughs> you need honestly. You need to lie. You <laughs> said yes, yes, yes. Teacher, now Evan is live in the bride's house. It's true, yes. Is the father in the morning? Good morning. Uh-huh. I remember I remember my my father-in-law me preguntó, ¿y usted va a la iglesia? And I look in the house, if you know Virgen Maria, right? So, boom, Catholic. <laughs> yes, I am Catholic. Oh, good, 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 miss. <laughs> you need to lie. If we are the iglesia, como tres veces, creo. Mentiras piadosas. Yes. The sacrifice for women. Okay. Just to win points. Yes, it's true. Ah, Gabriela, you are single, correct? Yes. What does a man need to conquer you? What? What does a man need to do? para conquistarlo, to conquer you. Mm. Wow. That's a difficult no, he, question. He, he needs to work. <laughs> he needs to be independent. He needs to, I don't know, ser soltero. Yes, obviously. 
yeah. <laughs> Obviously, they have, uh, he has to work, um, be a, a, a great man. Okay. A sincerely man. A what? Sin, un hombre sincero. A sincere. Mm -hmm. Sincere man. Oh. Okay, good, good. So, oh, to be Gabriela's boyfriend, you need to be a good man, you need to be honest, and you need to work. Okay, hey, very good. No es tan demandante, Gabriela. Yeah, but, but the most important is he have to come and ask my dad for permission. Oh, man. Es, es la prueba oh. de fuego. Oh, he needs and to... And I, I know that es la prueba de fuego. He needs to ask your father for permission? Yes. Oh. Definitely, yes. What, imagine your father says no. Mm, that will be a problem. Yeah. En el otro mes vuelve a preguntar. Intentalo hoy, pero no voy a decir esto. Yes, keep trying, keep trying. You can do it. Yes, you can do it. Okay, so listen, you need to, is el infinito, you need to and the verb, yes? Uh, to drive in El Salvador, you need to be careful. You need to look everywhere. Yes. With the COVID in this moment, you need to use a mask. You need to wash your hands with alcohol. Yes, you need to keep a distance, correct? Saben que hay tres, seis, siete, ocho personas en la clase y yo fui el que más hablé hoy. And that's bad. That's bad porque no soy yo el que quiero aprender inglés. <laughs> Necesitamos hablar más, en serio, de verdad, porque... ¿Se acuerdan que creo que les dije el primer día que el inglés no se estudia, se aprende? Y a veces el problema es de que como todos estamos acostumbrados a ir a la escuela y solo anotar, tomar notas y oír. Y pensamos que así se nos va a quedar. O nos da pena. O no sé. O... Pero el inglés es directamente hablar. O sea, no, de nada sirve que usted se pueda toda la gramática, la puede leer súper bien, escribir súper bien, si no lo habla. Ok, entonces por eso, eh, el que menos debería estar hablando era yo, era yo, pero hoy hablé yo más que todos ustedes, pero me he dado cuenta, siempre le hago una pregunta, se queda en silencio total. A veces no sé si no sirve el micrófono, por eso, hello, y ahí, oh, hi, teacher. Yeah. No, contesten, contesten siempre. O sea, hoy el tema era, ¿qué se necesita para? ¿Sí? Yes. Yeah. No, uh -huh. ¿qué se necesita para colorear? O sea, no, no, no piensen algo tan sofisticado, algo simple, piensen algo simple. ¿Qué se necesita para llamar a alguien? What do you need to color? Oh, you need paper and... Pencil. What do you need to, what do you need to, uh, what do you need to do to have WhatsApp? Oh, you need to have a cell phone. Yes. I quiero que dijeron, what do you need to have a license? Que se necesita para tener la licencia. Se necesita pagar así, trams. Porque el examen, yo no sé cómo hay gente que ha pasado exámenes. Yeah. You say, ah, you don't need, in El Salvador, you don't need to learn how to drive. You just need to pay. Only need the money. <laughs> yes. Yes. Don't worry about the exam. Only pay and you have a license. Yo me acuerdo mi examen de licencias, me subí al carro. 
y me dice, vaya a manejar de aquí a allá, se lo juro, creo que fue 10 pasos. Y yo, boom, vaya estuvo, pasaste, me dijo, ¿really? <risa> Pero después vi que él se fue, yo creo que ahorró la gasolina para ir a visitar una su chica o algo. <risa> yes. Ok, class, I will see you tomorrow, ok? You tomorrow, okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Oh, mire, mire. Hay, hay, hay algo que se los oí hoy. Saben, good night es para despedirse. Good yes. evening. Ah, good night. Uh -huh. Good, good, ajá. Uh -huh. Cuando ustedes, para introducir o para saludar, se dice good evening. Entonces está good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Yes. Pero si ustedes entran a una fiesta y ustedes dicen, hi, good night. Es como que la gente va a pensar que ustedes Hola y adiós. Yes. Uh -huh. Good night is only for bye-bye. Yeah, good night, good night is like for right now in this moment. Okay, class, you know, good night. In, tomorrow is hi, class, good evening. Good evening. Yes. But now in this moment, good night. Okay. So good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, see you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Bye bye. Bye.